Hello everyone, I'm Redilyn Yumul, a senior high school mathematics teacher. For this video, we will try to construct an amortization schedule using Casio Classways. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Casio book about amortization schedule. To begin with, amortization is the process of liquidating a loan or a debt by periodic payment at a regular interval that includes the interest charges. An amortization schedule is a table that shows how much portion of the periodic payment is paid for interest and for principal. Also, it shows the remaining liability or outstanding principal after each periodic payment. Here is a format of an amortization schedule that you can use. For example, in this problem, the given our present value of 74,000 pesos, period of time for 1.5 years, Number of conversion period for one year of 12, since the payment is to be made every end of the month, that is 12 times in a year, and interest rate of 3.471%. Before constructing an amortization schedule, we need to calculate first the periodic payment, and since this problem involves simple ordinary annuity, we will use this formula. Present value of the simple ordinary annuity is equal to the periodic payment multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus the sum of 1 and i raised to the negative n all over i, where i is the periodic rate and is computed by dividing the annual interest rate by the number of conversion period per year, and n is the total number of conversion period for the whole term or the total number of payments to be made and is computed by multiplying the number of conversion period per year and the period of time in years. Now take note that the basic buttons to be used in solving for the periodic payment are the following. Shift, Alpha, Calc, Right Arrow Key, X, the Fraction Key, Exponent, Negative Sign Key, Open and Close Parentheses Keys. To solve, Make sure that your calculator is in Calculate menu, that is by pressing Menu 1. Then we input the present value which is 74,000 pesos. Press Alpha Calc to input an equal sign. Then we input the periodic payment, let's say that is represented by X. And then open parentheses, Fraction key, 1 minus open parentheses, 1 plus the periodic rate that is 0 0.03471 divided by the compounding period of 12. Press right arrow key, close parentheses, exponent key, negative n. N is M multiplied by the period of time, that is 12 times 1.5 years. Close parentheses, then we press again the right arrow key. So for the periodic rate, again that is 0 0.03471 over 12. Press the right arrow key again, then close parentheses. Once done with this, we press Shift, Calc, and Equal Sign. So it means that the periodic payment is 4,225 pesos. Now to construct an amortization schedule, take note that the basic buttons to be used in this example. We have Alpha. Option, negative symbol, degrees, minutes, second symbol or DMS, X raised to negative 1, sine, cosine, and the arrow keys. In constructing a table, we will use the spreadsheet menu of Casio Classways, that is by pressing menu and A. Going back to the sample amortization schedule, since the payment is every end of the month for one year and six months, 
then the total number of payments is 18. So we will input the payment number in column A of the spreadsheet. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And to enter each value, we press the equal button. 0 equal, 1 equal, And since it will take time, we can just create a formula to automatically input the values down to payment 18. So from cell A6, press option and 1 so we can create a formula. For the form, input A5 by pressing alpha negative sign button. 5 and plus 1. And then for the range of values or for the range, use right arrow key and delete button in changing to A6 to A19. Lastly, we press the equal button twice. So we now have the values from 0 to 18 payments. Next, so at the beginning, the outstanding principal is 74,000 pesos. So we input this value on cell E1. We can use the arrow keys to move to this cell. E1. Okay. So we will input 74,000. Press the equal button. Now, the periodic payment will begin on payment number 1. So, we input 4,225 on cell B2. And then, equal button. Now, again, since it will take time to input 4,225 down to payment 18, we can just create a formula to automatically input the amount. To do that, Again, we press Option and 1. For the form, input B dollar sign 2. That is, pressing Alpha DMS button, Option 1 and 2. Then we press the Equal button. For the range, that is from B3 to B19. So, just use the arrow key and delete button to change it. Then we press the equal sign button twice. Next, we input the interest payment. It is computed by multiplying the outstanding principal before the periodic payment multiplied by the periodic rate that is 0 0.03471 divided by 12. So before the first payment, the outstanding principal is 74,000 pesos which is in cell E1. From cell C2, let us input a formula by pressing again option and 1. Again, multiply the outstanding principal on cell E1, so we press alpha, cosine button, 1, then times, open parenthesis, 0 0.03471 divided by 12, and then close parenthesis. Then we press the equal sign. For the range, for the range, that is from cell C2 to C19. So again, we can just move or we can just use the arrow key and the delete button. And then we press again the equal sign button. You will observe that other values are zeros. That is because we do not compute it yet for the other outstanding principal. But once we have, the amounts here will be changed automatically. 
For the principal repaid, we just get the difference of the periodic payment and interest payment. So from cell D2, we will input again a formula by pressing Option and 1. For the form, input B2 minus C2. That is, alpha DMS 2 minus alpha uh, X raised to negative 1 button, 2, and then equal button. For the range, that is from D2 to D19. Then we press the equal button twice. Observe that the values after D2 are the same but eventually, this will be changed as we complete the table. Last step, to compute the outstanding principal, deduct the previous outstanding principal and the current principal repaid. So for the formula, we will input E1 minus D2. So from cell E2, we press again option and the 1. Then for the form, input alpha cosine 1 minus alpha sine 2. Then we press equal. For the range, that is from E2 to E19. Then again, we press the equal button twice. So that's it for this video. Thank you and have a good day.